today we're going to be touching a subject that I think will be of big interest for you, and is the comparison between and seeing the differences between love and infatuation. In the beginning stages of a relationship, it's something that is extremely exciting. It's very invigorating. And as you share new experience with each other, everything is like, wow, and everything is super fun and exciting. And it's that honeymoon phase, and this is normal and happens to many couples. And as you progress through the first couple of months, your new relationship may feel like you're in the stars or in the moon, and you may think that you're already in love. But before we say that you're in love, it is essential to understand the difference between love and infatuation. And although they, they're a little bit similar, they're quite different, uh, different in the long run. And this um, short read will explore you and show you the differences uh, between the love and infatuation and offer you some ways to help you decide what your feelings are and show you exactly what the difference could be for you not to get confused. Uh, love is designed as a warm attachment and devotion to another human. And infatuation is defined as a strong feeling of admiration, of interest for somebody. And love reflects a deep connection where infatuation is more, it's more superficial. Uh, it's that superficial level that we talk about sometimes. But what is love and what's infatuation? Both love and infatuation can produce very intense feelings that may feel just a little bit similar. But ultimately, that's why these two feelings are often confused with one another. However, there's some clear differences when you look at the definitions. Because love is often described as a feeling of intense affection for another person. And other definitions can include an in, a warm attachment or devotion to another person. And in contrast with the word infatuation, which involves being carried away with addictive feelings or feeling carried away with somebody. And if you ever had a friend who went in two dates with a person and suddenly claimed, oh my God, we're in love. This may be infatuation. And it looks like from the outside, it's a little bit like, whoa, it's a bit too much. But in some cases, it can feel like the person is borderline obsessed. Some of the signs of infatuation can be that when they're in a, you are in a relationship or somebody's in a relationship, it can be difficult to see how your relationship may appear to people on the outside. And if you're worried about not knowing the differences between these signs, this can help you, which, which uh, are the following ones. You have to know that these are general pointers to ask yourself and not just to look at. So in each situation is uniquely different, but this may not always apply. And some of these signs might be the infatuation uh, stage that you're going through. Feeling kind of obsess or obsessive thoughts of that person, you know, when you start putting that idea. And it could be just excitement. But excessive or persistent infatuation could get in the way of performing your necessary daily task. So you're just like constantly thinking about them and it just gets really like, wow, like I can't wait to see them, I can't wait to talk to them, I can't wait to test them. And um, only seeing the positive traits of them can also be a problem and ignoring those red flags or red banners, like I always say. You've only had limited interaction with this person, but you're thinking they're absolutely ideal. Ignoring signs of incompatibility. you got to really look into this because a lot of people, they just get caught up on that magic feeling, but they don't look at the signs of compatibility, which are a big problem on a longer term. The relationship is moving way too quickly. We all know this. Take a step back, look from the outside, and just have a look and see where are you going wrong or how fast are you going with it, including being intimate with somebody. Friends and family have expressed concerns about your involvement and your fantasies with this person and the relationship lacks foundation and substance. Don't forget that one. And uh, like infatuation, a true love bond can take months for to truly form and be developed. Love is characterized by rational thinking and opposed of impulsive decisions based on exaggerated emotions, which we all have had in the past.
And I would say that in addition of love, um, is selfless, and you're concerned more about the well-being and the other person than yourself. And the infatuation stage, more science focus on personal concerns. But from a scientific point of view, which I've studied, it says the infatuation is a real phenomenon that occurs in our brains. And in fact, several studies have actually compared that brains uh, produce serotonin during stages of infatuation. And people describe this like a love luster feelings and it's similar of being on a high drag, which at the same level can be a little bit addictive and gives you crazy feelings. And it's in addition, dopamine produced from these feelings of infatuation can leave you feeling euphoric and even diffi have difficulty sleeping. I've had it before from my girls. And can infatuation turn into love? Well, infatuation is usually something that occurs early in the relationship and it could last for a very short time or go on for a while. Some couples, it might just be for a few weeks and others, months or years. But ultimately, infatuation can in fact turn into love in some cases though. But love may begin to develop when you begin to accept the realities of the relationship. And this comes to the realization that no relationship is perfect. You need to remember this. While it's possible that infatuation does not always turn into love, so be careful. In many cases, it may last for a few weeks or months, and suddenly it ends. Usually, this starts when feelings begin to shift from lust and the wear off into the reality. In the 1970s, there was a psychologist called Dorothy Tenham that she actually coined the term limerins, and this refers to a profound romantic infatuation, which begins with immense emotions and can lead to obsession. And she believed that it can even uh, last up to three years. And what to do? Are you worried that you might be infatuated and not really in love with your partner? Don't panic. As mentioned before, these feelings often change into love over time and it's understandable that right on the honeymoon stage, for as long as possible, you will be. But to prevent any heartbreak or toxic relationship, seeing a therapist or a coach or a counsellor might be a good place to start to talk and through your feelings. If you're comfortable, talk to a trusted friend or family member about how you're feeling and you may find that outside perspectives can actually input and help you to prevent the reality of your situation. Um, I'm only a call away and we can just even talk about all your worries if you really want to. You're not alone. I'll see you soon.